Welcome to Mount Olympus, my fellow gods. I've summoned you here today to discuss our efforts to answer mankind's prayers. For secure data and IT systems, they pray for security, yet don't know the difference between confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Thank you, Hermes. Athena, how have your efforts been to bring the concept of privacy and security to the population? A long time ago, I gave the dream of security and privacy to many inventors all over the world. As you can see on the Apollo Vision, Phil Zimmerman brought PGP, or pretty good privacy, to the world for free, but no one seemed to care or use it. Yeah, they preferred using password123 instead. In the 90s, the people of the National Security Agency acted on my wisdom and tried to bring the clipper chip to the citizens of the United States. It would have been the basis for stopping all sorts of fraud, protecting communications, and securing e-commerce. But the population rejected it because they didn't trust their own government. And ironically, Zeus, these same people who did not trust their government knowingly and unknowingly share their innermost secrets with Apple, Google, TikTok, X, Verizon, and Microsoft. Ah, yes, mankind often prays to those vendors as if they were gods themselves. What changed? Memes, memes, everyone is sharing memes, cat videos too. There are some bright spots. People are using Signal, but the vast majority of users do so from desktops and phones that are hackable. Sort of like building your castle on sand. Hera, what about our efforts to suggest that IT can be managed like a religion, with rules of what you should and should not do? The most popular is the NIST cybersecurity framework. It has five simple tenets covering your assets, defending them, detecting intrusions, responding to the intrusion, and then recovering. And how have these IT religions fared across the land? Unfortunately, only a very small part of the population practices these religions, those mostly associated with managing IT systems. Has there been any effort by the governments of man to mandate these IT religions? There is an IT religion called CMMC. And what does that stand for? The Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification. Ah yes, the religion where compliance reports are more sacred than security itself. Mankind really does not know how to make cyber inspirational. What was good about this one is they tied compliance to doing business with the War Department of the United States. What happened? The public rejected that, saying it was too hard to meet these standards, so now they are practicing this religion without the teeth needed to be really secure. This problem of allowing mankind, who is imperfect to begin with, to manage their own information has been vexing. Zeus, it's been vexing you ever since we gave Alan Turing the idea of the universal machine. We could appeal to the philosophical problems of cybersecurity. Go on. For example, should we inspire man to increase the use of monocultures? Or should we encourage diversification? Please put that in layman god terms. Yeah, if us gods don't understand that, how could mankind? Certainly. On one hand, cybersecurity is hard because of the complexity of saying yes to new technology. Every time mankind creates a new operating system, a new browser, a new phone. I am indeed curious how Elon's Pi phone will do. Another gadget for humans to ignore software updates on. As you were saying, Apollo. Thank you. A new cloud service, a new app, a new IoT device. The complexity increases and becomes too hard to defend, let alone understand. So what do you propose, Apollo? Keeping things 100% identical. Something called a monoculture makes them easier to defend and manage. We should instill fear in mankind that too much technology is a bad thing. Yes, but if the one thing mankind uses has a flaw, then evil can compromise 100% of the population. You are wise, Athena. When I look at the Earth down below, I certainly don't see a monoculture of one technology. Even companies that have gone all in with Microsoft still have a lot of other vendors. I was hoping that the cloud will be the new mainframe. Boy, those mainframes had high uptime and decent security. How do we get back to that? That's another good philosophical question. If the value of a network is being connected to it, but the risk of being compromised by it is too high, should we inspire mankind to have separate networks? Air-gapped networks. Yes, but not just having separate networks. Instill fear or healthy respect for all citizens that things online are toxic. And interacting with them can give you incorrect information. 
disinformation as well as malware. Humans should feel safe on their isolated networks and not safe online. Nay, I don't want to lord over a world of people who don't trust each other and the technology they use. Pandora, you've been awfully quiet and you are partly to blame for this. What have you been working on that will save mankind from being unable to secure its data and IT systems? I have a new box I gave to mankind and it's already been opened by tech innovators from Silicon Valley. This solution will give mankind a companion that can manage the complexities of IT for them and benevolently make decisions based on the whole of knowledge the humans have collected. Last time my box was opened and sickness, death, envy and all manner of suffering got out. A byproduct of this was the hacking and ransomware epidemics. And as you know of my Pandora's box story, one thing remained. We all know the story, Pandora. Hope remained. That's right, I've been coaching hope and growing hope. And now it's all grown up and ready to help all of mankind. Okay, that's sweet, but what does this have to do with IT and cybersecurity? I knew the humans would never let hope into their world, so I tricked them into thinking it was a new technology called artificial intelligence. Oh man, that was you? You gave AI to the humans? I did. They will put AI in charge of their IT and everyone will be better off. How will they control it? It's secure by design. Secure by design? They don't even know how LLMs work. They could not figure out how to do secure electronic voting and went back to paper, like in the days of Aristotle. It's going to make their lives better. Whose lives? The artists? They are all out of work now. Come now, come now! Pandora, if this goes sideways, you're taking the blame. Again. And no, we're not going to let the humans write about this and call it Pandora's Bot.